ask whether you want to repeal the existing three-quarter cent sales tax. Convincing the members of the North Springfield Betterment Association to keep the police fire pension in place is not a hard sell for Fire Chief David Hall. Rick Fay, the vice president of the association, says it's a promise the community made years ago. These are people who risk their lives for us every day and they need to be taken care of. Explaining what they have to do to keep the tax for the police fire pension is a little more complicated. Which means if they want to continue the tax, they need to vote no. If they oppose the tax, they'd want to vote yes. This pension has always been complicated, so complicated that in 2006, all new hires were put in a new retirement program called Loggers. There are 915 current and former employees of the police and fire department on the old pension. 500 of them already retired. The remaining 400 are active employees who still pay into the plan. In 2009, the pension was $200 million underfunded, funded at only 35 cents for every dollar. Now, five years after the three-quarter cent tax passed, the pension is 75 percent funded, meaning 75 cents for every dollar promised. So we're getting there. The tax has been an integral part of that, uh, but there's still a ways to go. So still we have 25 percent of the liability abilities is, are still under, unfunded. Hall says a repeal of the tax now would mean a cut to critical services to make up for another shortfall. It's uh, about uh, $9.7 million this year, this next year, we would have to pay into the plan from general funds. So that means we have to cut the general fund expenses by that amount so we can make it into the pension plan.